a lot of you guys have requested this guy, so I'm here with the bearded one, Franco. Hey, how you guys doing? Now you're from Cebu, right? Yes, uh, Cebu. Would you believe I've never been there? Uh, you should go there, man. It's a really nice place. You, you'll enjoy it. What's special about Cebu that is different from Manila? Uh, I think it's uh, geogra geography because uh, the beach is pretty close. Uh, uh, mountain resorts are pretty close. Uh, 20 to less than 30 minutes you can be either by the beach or at the mountain resort. You know. I was talking to a Korean guy recently and he was catching a flight to Cebu. He goes there often. He said he was only in Manila for three or four days and he said he didn't like, he loves Cebu, hates Manila. He said, this is, this is his words, not mine. He said, Manila's disgusting. There's all sorts of gays and lesbians in the streets, which is true. However, I felt that that's kind of odd that that's what he takes away from Manila and that's the only thing. But he said, he said, your place is just absolutely fantastic but we have something in common other than both being able to, to grow some good facial hair <laughs> we, we both have movies coming out in a film festival sitting Filipino I'm I, did, I have a movie come out called Un Turkey Man I Pablo Rin and you have one coming out called The Muses would Muses. you like to tell us something about that I have a cameo uh, in the movie and uh, we shot it in Cebu for like, uh, mine was only uh, uh, one day, but I guess uh, they, I think they shot it for like uh, a few weeks in Cebu. Uh, the cat, uh, the, I think it was Kitchina Dal and uh, a few others who, who are from Manila who went to Cebu just to, sh to uh, shoot, shoot the film. I'm gonna be checking that out. I'm sure I'll be able to see it when I'm when I'm at the festival. I hope you watch my film too, and then you'll have to let me let me know how you think I did. But yeah, you're a very popular guy. There's no question about that. But do you consider yourself more of an independent artist or mainstream? Um, probably independent artist. But uh, the thing is, we're I'm signed to a label now. So, but the thing is, uh, I just try to write whatever I feel like writing and uh, it really doesn't matter if I'm uh, a part of a label or uh, if I'm doing my stuff independently, as long as people listen to my songs and, uh, you know, buy the album or just go, just go to, to our gigs, you know, that should, that should do it. Here's, here's what I think because I've been checking out your videos on YouTube and Kamikaze highly recommends you and their words pretty good but I've been checking out your videos and you have some very popular videos on YouTube but I think that you're very much an independent artist and I think yeah, I, there's nothing wrong with that I'd consider myself outside the mainstream too but what we have when you're a little bit outside the mainstream is I think it gives you a little bit of an edge I think it makes you a little bit cooler uh, also, maybe it gives you a little bit more freedom in terms of just being able to walk around the mall and things like that. Do you walk around the mall? <laughs> yes, I do, man. Um, but sometimes it does get hectic, but I uh, just try not to uh, think about it too much. Yeah, yeah, for me, like what's good is, like I said, I'm outside the mainstream too, but I can still walk through the mall and uh, you know, people sometimes stop and ask for a picture or something like that, but nothing to the point. I don't get mobbed by fans or anything like that. I'm not that popular. Yeah, me I, neither, man. You know, it's just I, I can imagine how it could get that way for It's probably some just because people. of the beard. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, well, you stand out. You're so recognizable. That's the thing. It's not hard for you just to blend in with everyone. Maybe I should just cut it, you know? No, you shouldn't because a lot of people comment on your beard. I think it's a good look. Occasionally I wear a beard and you're almost inspiring me to want to grow back my beard. <laughs> By the way, congratulations on your new, your new song and your new music video for Better Days. Hey, thank you. I, I really like the video for that. I'm a, since I'm a director myself, I really appreciated. That's very different than the typical music video these days. It has a much more naturalistic approach, in my opinion, in terms it doesn't try to be too slick mm -hmm. or too polished. It just shows you what you more what I think you're really like hanging out surfing. Whose idea was that to do the video that way? Uh, it was mine uh, initially, and uh, everybody just chipped in. Uh, it was directed by uh, Tamara Benito. Tamara and uh, 
Martin Aviles, Tamara Benitez and Martin Aviles. Uh, it was it was a fun shoot. Uh, the whole crew was there, and uh, there were waves, and uh, it was sunny. But sometimes it was rainy. But uh, we uh, shot it anyways, and uh, we're lucky enough to uh, have it done uh, before the deadline. <laughs> I, I have to say, like I said, I, I, I'm almost kind of jealous that I didn't direct that because I was thinking if, if I start doing music videos that's a little bit more the type I want to do that are a little bit more natural they have a certain charm and certain appeal and just that essence of being more real it's not a Britney Spears music video where it's a million dollar little movie it's just you being you hanging out with your friends and the song really speaks for itself yeah, lifestyle uh, just being able to uh get out and uh, relax and uh, be one with uh, Mother Nature and uh, you know just trying to enjoy uh, whatever's whatever Philippines has to offer uh, when it comes to surfing for example. Did you do any surfing when you were in the United States? Uh, the thing was no I didn't. Uh, I guess that, that was uh, one of the reasons why I, uh, why I came back here in the Philippines uh, uh, because I got introduced to uh, surfing and it uh, made me appreciate uh, uh, the environment more. In You've only been surfing recently? Uh, probably about three years now. Oh wow, so you, you were in Florida, right? Uh, Florida and California. And you never did it in, there's oceans uh, those places, you never did it there? Uh, no, none of my, uh, I did snowboarding in California, but none of my friends really uh, surfed. Uh, I guess uh, Filipinos are uh, scared of uh, cold water. So yeah, that, that's, that's true. <laughs> cold in general. The cold in general, so I guess uh, that's why I didn't I wasn't able. I wasn't introduced to surfing in California. Uh, it would have been nice if I if I was, because uh, there's a lot of uh, really good spots in California. But like I said, uh, none of my friends surf. Uh, they only snowboard, so I guess uh, I was only uh, able to snowboard there instead of surfing. It would have been nice. Well, I think people are happy to have you back in the Philippines. I'm happy to be back here, man. You know, home. There's not no place like home. So it's more fun in the Philippines, is that what you're trying to tell me? Yes, more fun in the Philippines, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> There's something else that's very unique about you versus a lot of other types of entertainers. And I feel that this is something that we maybe have in common. There's a theme throughout your music and through everything you do in terms of s spreading good vibes because we have a lot of artists and entertainers that are giving concerts and saying all sorts of nasty things about other people but you're all about the good vibes how did you come to that philosophy uh probably because uh i think it's uh mainly living in in cebu uh because uh the lifestyle there is pretty laid back uh whenever uh the city is too hectic uh, if it's too hot if it's too humid you can just go to the beach like less than 20 minutes uh, you can go to the mountain resorts uh, less than 20 minutes, 10 minutes you'll be there and uh, if you go top to a mountain resort it's like 2 degrees cooler so it really, it really helps in uh, you know uh, trying to uh, lower your, uh, set your mood a bit, uh, lower your um, you know uh, being uh, you know hot headed uh, probably be because due to uh, the city life, the stress so it's pretty more laid back, man. So I guess that's it. Uh, Cebu is, is like uh, because Philippines is a tropical country. So I guess that's uh, what made me, uh, well, what influenced me to uh, uh, write those songs. You know, uh, spread some positive vibrations and uh, you know just talk about life in general and uh, how we could better better ourselves in in in, in terms of uh, the environment uh, people surrounding us are friends and family and uh, uh, in terms of uh, our expression through music and uh, whatever you know? I like that Franco before I let you go before before you head in there to, to make some of your your beautiful music that, that I'm becoming a recent fan of through YouTube Thanks. is there anything that you'd like to to just let people know in general about anything. Uh, hopefully, you guys uh, will uh, spread one love and uh, spread some positive vibrations. And uh, I hope uh, lagging positive lang yun lang. And um, hopefully, uh, you guys will listen to uh, my music and uh, support OPM. Not only my music, but uh, the rest of the OPM. And uh, what else? Uh, just spread some love. You know. 
peace, love and uh, rock and roll. <laughs> well, I'm going to agree with you there. We, we do need to spread more positive things, try not to put bad things into the world and just, you know, I don't want to sound like a, like a hippie or whatever, but it's really, I really do believe it's about that. And I really admire that that's your philosophy. So guys, check out Franco's stuff, support OPM, support Franco. Thanks for being here. Okay, maybe, well. maybe we'll shoot something again sometime. Hopefully. Maybe I'll direct one of your music videos in the future. That should be nice, bud. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.